Hello everyone. Let's talk about smart sequencing. Smart stands for single molecule real time sequencing. As the name suggests, this technique does the sequencing in real time manner. It uses a unique phenomenon of physics known as zero mode waveguide. Now let's understand what zero mode waveguide means. Let's see this with a simple example. When the light is passed through a pinhole, it undergoes diffraction. The diffraction increases as the diameter of pinhole decreases. Something interesting happens when the diameter of pinhole is less than the wavelength of light. In this case, the light simply cannot pass through the pinhole. However, something interesting happens at the surface of pinhole. Since light is made up of electromagnetic radiation, some portion of the electric and magnetic field vectors can still exist beyond the surface. The presence of electromagnetic energy in a small volume near the pinhole is known as zero mode waveguide. The zero mode waveguide has enough of energy to excite the fluorescent molecule. Now let's combine physics and biology for the real-time sequencing of DNA. A thin sheet of metal with many tiny pinholes is covered with a thin sheet of glass. This is covered with many tiny well or tiny chambers in which sequencing process will be carried out. The enzyme DNA polymerase is immobilized at the bottom of each well where we have the pinhole. The DNA is first sheared and attached with hairpin adapter. Since the adapter has a hairpin structure, the DNA gets converted into single-stranded closed circular DNA upon melting. So this is the setup we have, a well having opaque surface with pinhole and the surface of glass just near the pinhole where we have DNA polymerase. Since the adapter sequence is already known, we can design the primer against the adapter. In presence of primer, the DNA polymerase starts adding nucleotides on the template DNA. Each of the nucleotide A, T, G and C are labeled with fluorescent dye of different color. Now, here comes the important part. Only those nucleotides that comes inside the zero mode waveguide gives fluorescence. This is because it is only this region that has ability to excite the fluorescent molecule. When the DNA polymerase adds the nucleotides on the template, the fluorescent probe attached with the nucleotide gives fluorescence. The fluorescent signal is detected and recorded. And on the basis of the signal, we decode the nucleotide. So this is like a live detection of nucleotide that is added by the polymerase. Since this technology is so advanced, we classify this under third generation sequencing method.